Hello everyone, how's it going today? Chelsea Face here and I'm excited to give you another in-depth ARC book review. I won this book on Instagram in a giveaway from Flame Tree Press, so thank you very, very much to Flame Tree Press for sending me this copy for free. I did um, enter a contest and I won. They do that very frequently, so if you're interested in entering any of their giveaways or any requesting of ARCs from them, um, I don't know what their requirements are, but um, I've gotten them in the past, so if you're interested in reviewing any of their fantasy, horror, um, crime, thriller. They do a lot of those types of books. So um, they have a website and also I go through NetGalley to get them. So if you're interested, please check them out. I'll have a link in the description to their website. They've been very kind to me and I'm very, very thankful that they sent me this book to review. Now that being said, I'm going to be very, very honest when I review this book. I don't lie in my book reviews. I see no point. It helps no one. I mean, it might help the author sell more books, but I don't think it's fair to the buyer and people like me who might be on a budget and still really won't enjoy a good book. So I'm going to be very honest and try to be nice but also be very very thorough in how I review this. I'm going to spoil this book in this particular review because I have so many things I want to say. So if you're not interested in spoilers, I'm sorry, you can go to um, my Instagram review and it's a little less spoilery if you just want a very vague, very minor spoilery if, if, if you get what I'm saying. But if you don't want to spoil it, just go read the synopsis and it should be fine but I'm gonna get spoilery in this just because I have some nitpicky things to say but I do like to review my arcs pretty pickily if that makes it pickily picky like if that makes sense. I have also reviewed other arcs from these people if you want to see them I'll link them in the description and I really enjoyed most of their other books so let's just get on with it I guess. This is Hunter Shay's Slash and it says The Wraith is Back. So this came out in October of 2019, so like last month, if I post this in November. And on the back, the synopsis says, I'm going to read it real quick for you because it's not very long. Five years after Ashley King survived the infamous resort massacre, her fiancé Todd Matthews finds her hanging in the basement. She left behind clues as to what really happened that night, clues that may reveal the identity of the killer the press has called the Wraith. With the help of his friends, Todd goes back to the crumbling Hayden Resort, a death-tinged ruin in the Catskills Mountains, determined to find out what happened to Ashley. Okay, and there's a picture of the author on the back with like a little bio of him. And I love reading about authors and stuff. I, I just really think that it's important to get to know who wrote the book that you're reading. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but either way, I really was intrigued by the cover. It's not the best cover I've ever seen, but it still makes me think cheesy slasher maybe. So I was like, okay, I wanna check this out and the story sounds interesting. Did not like this book, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. When I first started reading this book, I was really excited. I flew through the first like 50 pages, no problem. Maybe even more than that, maybe like 70 pages. But I flew through the first part of this book really fast because it was easy to digest and I enjoyed it. The writing is very strange. Um, it being an arc, I did find a ton of mistakes. So I hope those were fixed in the final copies. Of course, I didn't, I haven't bought a final copy, which I probably won't. I'm assuming they'll be fixed. A lot of grammatical errors, a lot of punctuation errors. Even like a character was called the wrong name at one point and it was very confusing, but I figured it out. So that was interesting because <laughs> it was called, a girl was called her dead sister's name when actually she was herself. So that was very weird. I like the beginning because it was about this character named Todd who had a fiance named Ashley and they were very, very close. He loved her. She loved him. She had been a final girl. I just finished final girl. So it's very strange that I've got another final girl book. And she was a final girl, which means that she survived. She was the sole survivor of like a big massacre. Like all of her friends were murdered and she was the only person alive. And she couldn't remember everything from what happened at the massacre. And so she had blocked that out of her mind. One day I assume because they didn't straight up say it, she remembers some things and so she kills herself. She hangs herself in her basement and her husband, her boyfriend comes home to find her hanging in the basement and it traumatizes him. He is very upset, of course. It's very understandable. I mean, who wouldn't be upset finding a dead body, much less someone you love? I just felt for this character and I did enjoy that part of the book where it was like building into him and their relationship and what she'd been through and then their friends comforting him. I thought that was a very good beginning to this book. But that's literally all that I liked. After that point, it felt almost like a different person was writing the book or it just felt rushed. Like it felt like the first part of the book was very well thought out and calculated. And then the rest of it was just kind of 
throw them on the paper. That's what it felt like to me. Okay, I could be totally wrong. Who knows? But I'm going to be honest. So here we go. I just cannot believe that this Todd character who lost the love of his life tragically to suicide. I understand how he could just be so out of his own head that he would go to the same place where she was massacred to try to find clues because she left him like a note saying, hey, I might have left something at the scene. Maybe you should not go find it. Of course he would go. He misses her and he loves her and he wants to know any little bit he can about what happened to her. So I understand how someone with that mindset would not have the forethought to not do something so dangerous. The building is falling apart and there's possibly a crazy killer around the area. So I understand how someone would not be thinking clearly and go do that. That's totally reasonable in my opinion. Gets a bunch of his adult friends. Like these are grown ups. Like it, I don't know if it actually says their age but they're adults like my age or older and he gets a bunch of his friends to agree to go out with him to this location it's like a giant hotel resort ski lodge everything it's huge to explore the area and find these sd cards that the woman left I, that that's something i don't get either okay i get that it's like a b movie in a book that's what all the people were saying it was but the girl says i'm jumping all over the place she said that she left him like memory cards of what was happening left throughout the scene, hoping that the cops would either find it when they swept the place or that she could come back later once she remembered things and find them and show people what happened. I don't know, man, like that's just kind of weird to me that you would remember that and then kill yourself instead of just going and getting them. That was kind of your plan to begin with. I thought that reasoning was very strange and it didn't make sense to me, but whatever, you know, I can brush that aside. Why did she kill herself after she did what she thought she would do in the end. Like, I, it just didn't make sense to me, but I'm not in her mindset, so who knows. I think the thing that bothered me the most about this book, I underlined a line that emphasizes this point. So I'm going to read it to you. It says, such frivolous talk seemed ridiculous in the face of what they were experiencing. I even, that's the only under like marking in this book I did was underlining that one line. They actually said it in the book and I looked at my husband and I was like, so he's aware that this is ridiculous. What I mean by that is if you experienced your fiance killing herself and you were heartbroken and upset, angry even, you're going to this location because your mind's not where it should be and you're upset. That's understandable, like I said. Then you proceed to make jokes and laugh and giggle and make fun and have a good time with your buddies. And like even some pages had like six or seven jokes on them, like in one page, not like two pages, one page would have like a bunch of jokes on it. I was just kind of annoyed and rolling my eyes during that because I understand that like cheesy slasher flicks have a lot of like dirty jokes and like silly jokes and I'm a, I'm a girl who gets down with a dirty joke now and then. I think they're funny but it felt almost like after he wrote the book he went in and added jokes. Like it was a little excessive and it did not feel appropriate to how the main character should be feeling during this trying time that he's going through. It's like he wasn't taking it seriously. And even after the lunatic crazy person killer started chasing them, because of course he comes back, they still are cracking jokes. And this dude has killed a young girl by throwing like a javelin pretty much through her head. And they can tell that he's not human. And like a crazy monster psycho killer is after them and killing their friends. And he's still cracking jokes with his buddy. And I don't know, that just felt so freaking fake. Like it felt not realistic in the slightest. And I get that you have to suspend disbelief for books like this, but it took me out of it, you know, and I can't really explain that other than just personal taste. Like all of this is just personal taste, but I just did not like that. I thought it was very unrealistic and very jarring to read when he was trying to escape and then funny joke here, ha ha. Oh wait, someone's going to get murdered. Your best friend's your your what your fiance's best friend is murdered or you're murdered or whatever and like a uh, dirty joke make fun of this stripper. There was a lot of stripper hate in this book um, or dancer hate, whatever you want to call it, but they were calling her a dancer and a stripper and like making fun of her. So if that's not something you're interested in, I don't recommend this. I mean, I get it's just a movie book, so I wasn't bothered by it, but some people may be if that's your line of work. It's totally valid, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, there are tons of triggers in this if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, murder, death, suicide. I think some depression and anxiety issues were very well in this. Just a lot of gore and like murdery stuff, pretty much bloody, gross. I think they killed an animal at one point. So if that makes you uncomfortable, just be aware of that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Just like 
grossy horror stuff, you know, typical horror stuff. Um, there was no like sexual stuff in here. So that's, you're clear for that. I have to disagree with this is a B movie in book form because growing up and now I watched so many B horror movies, like on Sci-Fi Channel especially. I love them. They're my bread and butter. They're so fun. And I giggle and laugh and I'm having a good time and I'm scared or whatever, you know, it's just a fun experience. This did not feel like that to me because it just felt rushed and the writing was not very good in my opinion. I did not like the writing in this. It just it just really felt rushed to me. It, it felt like he had to get it out quickly or something. I don't know. I could I could be full of crap, but that's how it feels to me. And it didn't feel like anyone's heart was put into this story. It just felt like something that was just vomited on a piece of paper. And I just didn't like it. I don't need to really get that much more descriptive with why I didn't like it, but I just didn't like it. I was constantly having to reread paragraphs and pages because I just couldn't focus on what was happening. And I think that was just the writing job. Like I just didn't like it so much that I just kept having to reread it. And I know that some people struggle with that when reading in general, but I've gotten way better since I've been reading more books. And this one just kind of took me back to that. So I'm a little worried that I might be in a reading slump after this because I just didn't like the writing so much. The story wasn't as big of the issue as much as the writing in my opinion. I just, it really was hard for me to finish. When you finally find out what the killer is or who the killer is, it was just kind of weird to me. Like it was definitely B-movie quality. I'll give you two seconds to guess what the killer was or who the killer was. You gotta guess? Okay, the killer is a Nazi zombie slash golem. Yeah. Um, I've watched a ton of movies where there were Nazi zombies. It was just really weird to me that this is a, that's a trope. Like that's a character, that's a thing. But uh, he was a Nazi zombie who was murdered and he comes back, but also he might be a golem, which is like apparently a thing that was created by people using like the earth. So it wasn't 100% confirmed what he was, but I think he was a golem Nazi zombie. Yeah, it's very strange. I kind of rolled my eyes at that, but you know, I kind of just suspended some disbelief for that portion. I guess I would have liked this more if there had been a little bit of a thrill twist at the end, like if one of the characters that was with their friends was the killer in the end, or if um, just some crazy person was the killer. I think that would have been more interesting than like a, a creature or like a monster or something. I think that would have been more twisting and fun. And I guess I was just really expecting there to be some kind of fun twist or something at the end. And there just wasn't, it kind of just ended with death and stuff. And that was like it. Like there was like, at the end you get like this little bit of maybe he's not really dead. That's about it. Like the ending was very underwhelming to me. I can't say that I remember everything about this book because it was just so, it kind of felt like the whole story went by and there wasn't really a payoff is my main issue with it. I, I just, I can't recommend it to anybody, but I guess if you are just curious about it or you really love the cheesy B-movie stuff, maybe you would like this. I did not, but I understand if anyone does, I guess. I went and read a bunch of Goodreads reviews on this and they had really high reviews and I didn't get, I didn't understand. Everyone has their own opinions and I guess whenever I negatively review a book, I feel kind of bad because I was given the book for free, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like that's just not who I am. I'm a very realistic person and I buy most of my books anyways. Like I very rarely get review copies unless I just win them. I don't expect people to send me tons of books just because I give a book a good review. So, you know, I'm not like over here with millions of followers anyway. So I'm just gonna be real with you. That's my review of this book. I gave it one star. Did not enjoy it. Please follow me on Goodreads if you want to read all of my book reviews. I usually post them on there and then I'll edit them a little bit and put them on my Instagram. So follow me on there as well. That's my favorite platform is Instagram. I also have a Twitter and I have all of these linked in the description below if you want to follow me on any of those. Um, if you want to buy this book, I'll even put it in the description for you to purchase since it is on sale now. I do not get any money for you clicking that link, obviously. I'm not affiliated or sponsored or anything by this video. Feel free to purchase it if you're curious. It's uh, 288 pages. So it's not that long. It felt a lot longer though. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know what you think if you've read this book in the comments below. I would like to discuss it with you. Maybe I'm wrong about something, but I want to know if you like it, what, what you think about it and what you did like about it. Or if you didn't like it, we can just talk about it in the comments. You know, I just like discussing books with you guys and getting to know the things you're into and the work, things you like to hear from me about these books. So if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. I just love talking about books with you guys.
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I put out new videos all the time. Lots of bookish content and some vlogs here and there. Just good times, you know? We like to have fun here. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.